My friend Rod and I used electrolysis to clean guitar parts. A small electric charge lifts rust and corrosion from metal parts in a saltwater bath. We used an old 12 volt power supply. I'd save from something or else. Anything would work. You need somewhere between 6 volts and 24 volts and 2 amps or higher. And this produces gases, so you want to work in a well-ventilated area. Be careful with this one, but it's such a good tip. It's worth it. Here's my friend Rodrigo Gomez. Rod. He's visiting me again from Sao Paulo, Brazil. And as always, he's brought along a killer trade secrets. Yeah, Dan. I'm going to show you how to remove rust using electricity. And the rust we're talking about is the rust and grime on this 1961 Cherry Red Dot Neck ES335. A beauty guitar. We're down at the bridge, which is very grungy, dirty, and the parts don't move well. I'm going to get it off there and see what Rod has to show us. That's teamwork, buddy. Yeah. It's very corroded. It's got dirt under the saddles, down in all those little pockets. So what does the recipe call for, Rod? The first thing we need is a glass dish, salt, piece of steel, and we are using a hammer, wire, electrical tape, power supply, alligator clips, and cutters. First figure out the negative and positive of your power supply. On this one, the negative is inside the tip and the positive is the sleeve. Strip the positive wire and attach it to an alligator clip. Attach that to the positive on our charger, that's the outside sleeve, and tape it up. Insert the negative wire inside the plug and tape that too. At the other end of the positive cable, strip away a longer section of insulation. Wrap that onto your piece of steel. And we're using this hammer for that. On the negative wire, strip a long enough piece to wrap around your part. The more contact you make all around the part, the better this is going to work. Getting down into all those screws, threads, and saddles. Pour the water deep enough to cover the part you're cleaning. Water is not really a good electrical conductor, and the salt helps make it more conductive. It helps the current pass through. This is uh, Rod's recipe for cooking a tuna mac bridge. <laughs> and then this is our metal that goes into the water too, but not to touch each other, okay? Does that have to be covered too? No, you don't need it just the part that you want to take the rust off. Ready? Plug it in? Plug it in. Let's plug it in. I plugged it in. Something's <laughs> happening. God. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Whoa. Look at the stuff coming off. It's just, I think that's just dirt and oxidation coming off. It's cleaning the metal. Yeah. It's like the reverse, I think, of plating something. Instead of making something stick to it, it's making it come off. Supposedly we're going to have this clean without scrubbing and sanding and grinding and all kinds of stuff. How long are you going to leave it in here? No, then just leave it for a few hours and then you can come back and just see how clean it is. Boy, the stuff's coming off. Look at the water's getting brown. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. Can I stick my finger in there? Yeah, sure. No hurts. Nothing. I don't feel a thing. But the water is turning yellow. Yeah, and brown, black, all kinds of dark colors. You can say you saw it here first, and the Rod and Dan show will be right back in two hours. Yeah. Well, we've waited a couple hours, and it looks like uh, lunch is ready. <laughs> yeah, Dan. Now you can just take it off and see how it's, if it's good enough for us. See, just clean it up. Let's take it apart and get those saddles out and see how it worked. Okay. In the things I read, it said you, didn't, you wouldn't want to light a mat around this. Just dump this down the toilet. There's not much in there except dirt and rust. Ugh. Wow, it doesn't take away the patina or the little pitted plating from all those years, but it's clean and shiny. Like, look at this screw. Yeah, it's shiny now. There's no damage on the nickel. 
The threads are really clean. Killer job done here, Rod. It's perfect. It's a trade secret right from Brazil. Thanks, buddy. Thank you, Dan.